In this video, we will create a vertical slider with content navigation and a progress bar using Slick. First, make sure to include jQuery and Slick assets in your document. Here is a simplified markup. We have a dev with a class of row. Inside this row are the image and the text column. For the image column, there is a new dev with a class of img holder. This will be our image slide. For the text column, the slide is the dev with a class of content item. We will duplicate these slides to create new ones. Next, let's modify the image sources. Let's also update the text content. Add flex CSS to the row container element. Ensure the images are at a maximum of 100% of the container. The first column will be 60% width and 40% for the text column. Add some padding to the slide element so our box shadow will appear when we add one. Set the span element into a block element, then add a shadow. The content item is our text group or slide. Let's add padding. Also, Add some padding to the inner content. The span bar element will be our progress bar. Add display block. Set the height and add a 100% width. Then add a light color background. Add position absolute to move it to the top and the very left. Style the pseudo element, after, for the progress bar. Set the background to vibrant color. For the animation, let's create a new keyframe called progress. Set the width from 0 to a width of 100%. Now, on the pseudo element, add the keyframe and then the duration. In this case, it will be 5 seconds. We're almost done adding the CSS. Now, let's activate the slick slider function for these elements. First, let's add a slick to the image container. Add a width property since the slick function overrides our container styles. Returning to the slick configuration, set the slides to scroll to 1. Fade to true. Hide the arrows. Autoplay is true. For autoplay speed, let's match the one we set for the bar animation, which is 5 seconds. So here, add 5000 milliseconds. To set our text content as navigation, add as nav4, with the value of the parent element of these text content. Next, add the slick function and configuration to the text container. 
Hide the arrows. Set the vertical to true. Slides to show would be 3. The focus on select is true. Then add the as nav 4, with the value of the image container group. Our slick sliders are in autoplay, and a slide is currently active. Let's add some style to the elements inside the currently active slide. For the current item container, add padding. Let's add a maximum height and reset it when it's the current slide. Set the infinite to false. Hide the progress bar if it's not the current slide. Then show it when it is. Let's add some border. And, finally. Override the slick list style height to auto.